Lucy. Wait. You're right, look at yourself. I'm waiting, see who's Oh, we've got three people on already. Are oh, you live? Sorry, I'm sideways, my phone's charging. Is that the effect? Hi, Georgia. Hello, hello. I look like a. Right, Dizzy. <laughs> That's what Hello, Liz. <laughs> Is it is it awkward? Is it awkward that I'm on the side? <laughs> Love your light, Emily. I am the light. <laughs> Lucy's here. Amy, Lucy's here. Right, Lucy. <laughs> Zane. Zane, I won't be giving you a song, I'm afraid. Everyone's coming. Everyone's coming. Hello, <laughs> Eve. What have you got a siren on for? <laughs> Pop quiz. <laughs> Oh, quiz! <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Everyone's coming on. How many minutes is it to a half past? Five. Five minutes. We're starting in five minutes. At the Watson Arms. Five minutes. And I don't know why you've got a siren on. <laughs> why? I'm alerting everyone. <laughs> Everyone's saying, what is that? It's a siren. <laughs> what do we need a siren for? To alert everyone. Amy, if they're on the live, they can hear it. For people that aren't on the live, they can't hear it. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me glowing. Hi, Tommy. Hi there. Hey, why are you sad? Tony, yeah. we're not mates anymore. Tony! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Emily. Look, everyone's saying, why is that siren going off? We don't need a bell! <laughs> <laughs> I've got 300 sound effects. We don't need sound effects, Amy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we don't need sound effects. Melissa. Hey, Melissa, just quickly, I tried to do your cameo today. <laughs> to throw... <laughs> <laughs> right, how long have we got till half past? Four minutes! <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Someone said the bell is better to be fair. Right, for everybody who is here, I don't know why this needs to be. Everyone, hello, hello. Oh, that's loud. It doesn't turn volume. <laughs> it doesn't turn volume. Hello? Oh, hello, is that better? Yeah. Right, for everyone who is here, you need a pen and paper. Tony, stop <laughs> Tony's got, how bad does your belly button smell in quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I do have a shower. Uh, no, Melissa, I am doing your cameo. I attempted it today, but um, yeah, my throat gave up. But I promise you, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Wow, this is so professional. Thank you very much. See? And I've even got a punter in the pub. <laughs> I'm ready for my pub quiz. <laughs> oh, damn. There's people still coming. Hello, Julia. Uh, the thing is, lots of people have like six fan accounts names, so I don't know what they're called. You feel like you're in a holiday park. Sarah, that was exactly what we were going for. <laughs> Along with the scallywag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait there. Someone said Felicia, what are you doing? The crowd is going wild. <laughs> Zane, we're doing a pub quiz. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes to go. Mia, we can see you. Right, hold on. Thank you. Lauren likes the mic. Thank you. Hold on. Just finished dyeing my hair. Glad you're on, I'm glad you're on time too, Tony. Tony, you get things out there. Oh, I can't get nowhere, die, anywhere. Yeah, where did you get your hair done? I don't know why I'm talking into the mic. I want a shout out, Libby Owen Jones. Shout out to Libby Owen Jones. The sound effects are killing me. Oh, they like the sound effects. I'm telling you now. <laughs> right, Zane, get a pen, hurry up. The mic is amazing, thank you. Scott, is Scott in the front? <laughs> shout out to Scott Matthews. <laughs> Wait there. Right, what time are we on? Amy, is it time to start? Just cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Just cleaning. 
A bingo corner. One minute. Corner. <laughs> One minute. The bike's the best part. Thank you. Right. It's like a holiday resort. That's what. That's the vibe. Right. One minute to go. Luke said he wants a shout out. Shout out to my brother, Luke Watson. Uh, I must call you a bingo caller. Shout out to Emily Pitcher, my main girl. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you should be charging people for this. Absolutely not. How long will it last? I'm sorry. Sorry. Right, so. Is it half past? <laughs> yeah? About 20 seconds. Right. Yes, that is Gemma. She's here. This is comedy gold, apparently. Right, Amy. Stop it. <laughs> Until half past. <sighs> That's half past. That's uh, half past. Right, I'm right. ready. So. Everybody that's here, the way it's going to work is there's 10 questions. There's a music round. The mic stopped. <laughs> a 10 questions. Have you knocked it again? I haven't touched the <laughs> Right, there's 10 questions, a music round, 10 more questions, and then a finish the lyric. But the way it's going to go to keep it more interesting, I'm going to give you a few seconds to get your answer. No cheating. And then Amy, <laughs> my sister, is going to try and guess the answer. Bear with us all. So, everyone, welcome to the Watson Arms. <laughs> Where are we have tonight's pub quiz? Let's start with question one. Which superstar has a daughter called Blue Ivy? If you've got a pen and paper, please write it down. Don't bother commenting because there'll be so many I can't read it. So, which superstar has a daughter called Blue Ivy? You know how you need like countdown. Ding 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 ding. Oh, oh, you got a countdown. Yeah, ding two. There with us. Can you turn the comments off? How do I turn the comments off? How do I do that? Oh. Lauren, how do I do that? Tell me. I've got it, I've got it, the countdown. That's you've got the countdown theme tune, so you've got oh, the countdown oh, theme oh. tune to go on. Wait a minute. Oh, Ready? Wait, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, there it was. There it was. So, once again, for people, which superstar has a daughter called Blue Ivy? Frankie! Thank you, Zip. It's actually the countdown, isn't it? Oh, it's about a minute long. No, stop it, that's enough. <laughs> right. So you should have an answer by now. So Amy, what superstar has a daughter called Blue Ivy? Can I just say, what if I get it right and I give them all the answer? Then it's fine, because they've answered. It's Beyonce. It is Beyonce, Amy. Well done. Question two. Besides your fingers and your toes, which body part has its own unique prints? So again, besides your fingers and your toes, which body part has its own unique prints? Start the timer. <laughs> this is good this day. <laughs> we can't do this every time. Five, six, seven, eight, and go. And go. There's your time. So, what should the people of home got? <laughs> Oh, am I, what do you think it is? Well, I would have said elbow. Tom. Elbow, that was elbow. I think, is it tongue? It is tongue. Elbow? Why are you elbow? It's wrinkly, isn't it? It's got prints. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, right, question three. Here's my favourite, so you can answer this already. Why do some birds fly in a V formation in the sky? Once again, that is why do some birds fly in a V formation <laughs> in the sky? <laughs> right, so let's see what Amy thinks to the, to the question. Why do birds fly in a V formation in the sky? I thought, I thought it was Daddy Bird at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy's an auntie's own course, and the baby's at the back or in the middle. No. Right, right so the great answer was, what was it? To conserve energy. That was question three. So what have you got out of three so far? I can't see because I turned the comments off, but there we go. Right, question four. 
What is Millie Bobby Brown's character's name in Stranger Things? Again, that is what is Millie Bobby Brown's character name in Stranger Things? Go on. Got a new one. I like this one. Hey! Right, I'm, oh. I'm losing viewers, I'm losing viewers, right. <laughs> Amy, what do you think the answer is? is it's Sarah, but her name's 11, isn't it? Is her name Sarah? Uh, yeah, she changed, she's 11 and then changed it to Sarah. Oh, I was looking for 11, so if you've got 11... Oh, it's L, it's L, not Sarah, it's L. <laughs> L's for 11. So 11, but if you've got L, that's okay as well. Right, next question. Oh, I don't know the answer to this. Can you look at the answer, please? <laughs> who plays Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter films? Again, that is who plays Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter films. Go. Oh, I don't even know that. <laughs> Take your guess. That's right. Six, seven, eight, and eight. Okay. Right, uh, so I'm, I'm worried that I'm asking these questions too quickly. Um, okay, Amy, so who plays Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter films? Is it is there Rupert? Rupert what? Don't guess. Rupert Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. The correct answer is Rupert Grint, so if you got that, give yourself a point. How many questions have we done? We've done five. Five to go and then it's the music round. Number six. What two colours, when you combine them, make the colour purple? What two colours, when you combine them, make the colour purple? Thank you. You could be doing a dance with her. So, Amy, for the love of our family, what two colours, when combined, make the colour purple? Red and blue. Yes! I didn't think you'd know that. I do know that. I didn't know that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> she liked that, so we're all right. Okay, number seven. Which boy band had a, a hit song with best song ever? Which boy band had a hit song with best song ever? Play that track, Amy. <laughs> that was quick. Right, I'm just going to turn the comments back on for a second, see what's kicking off. Right, so, <clears throat> uh, what was the question? Boy what boy band had a hit song with best song ever? Amy, do you know the answer? It was One Direction, well done! It was One Direction! Um, hello everyone, sending you, everyone just putting love hearts and stuff. Love you all. Right, question number ooh, nine. What three colours make up the German flag? That is, what three colours make up the German flag? Amy? I got <laughs> <laughs> Play the song. Uh, have a think about it. Have a think. We'll come back to her. Five right so far. Turn them off. Oh, sorry, do I turn it off? Everyone wants them off. I'll come back in a minute. I'll come back to the comments. That's it. Right, Amy. What three colours make the German flag? I've done no good at geography. <laughs> I'm not. Up again. Yellow. Right. Black. Yeah. Green? No! Is it green? No! Red, isn't it? It's red. 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 Yeah. Don't listen to me. I was about to get that right then. It is red, black and yellow. For everybody who put red, black and yellow, correct. Okay, then the final question of the first part of the pub quiz is, which museum displays the Mona Lisa? That is, which museum displays the Mona Lisa? Amy, what are you doing? I'm stretching. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a little thumb then. Play that track. <laughs> What's this? The countdown.
Ram remix by Spirit Ram. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why are you looking at me? Oh, there's no good. Okay, good. Thank you. Amy. I don't even ask you this question. I don't want to. Oh! Don't ask me then. Now ready? Oh my god, what's my phone doing? Sorry, Amy. Ready, Amy? Which museum displays the Mona Lisa? It's between three countries for me. I'm on about a museum, not a country. Yeah, but I don't know what the museum Go is. On, it's either in London, Italy, Italy or France. Okay, go with your last one. And France. what do you think it's called? Le Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Le Paris Museum. No, it's the Louvre. The what? The Louvre. Louvre? The Louvre, the big triangle that comes out the floor in Paris. Nah. Have you never been there? Nah. Right, that's the end of those ten questions. Are we ready for the music round? Gemma, maestro, please. So I'm going to play you the beginning of a song, and you have to guess it. That easy. Right, can you just hold your phone near the phone? We should do it like that. Is that alright? You're not cheating, are you? No, I'm getting the next countdown. Next countdown tune up. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready? This is your first song. You need to play literally like the first second of it. First like second. literally, boom, boom. All right, hold it near the speaker. Ready? Wait, Here's your track. Again. Hold on, one coming back. Here's your first track. Um. Name that song. That's hard. Yeah, it's supposed to be hard. So for anyone who didn't hear it, went da 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 la la. That's what you've got to go off. And again. One last time. One last time, please, Maestro. Hold on. Go. Right, there's your song. Amy, what do you think that song was? Name and the artist. Britney Spears' Toxic. Well done, Amy. Song number two. Anybody who got Toxic, Britney Spears, give yourself two points. If you only got the name or the song, one point for each. Are you ready for the next track? You said that one. Right, please bear with us. It's a bit of a set. I'm going to do this again next weekend, but we're going to like build the set every time. You could, we could have drinks next week. Yeah? Drink? Yeah. Oh, drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm personally off the drink. Right, you've got the next track. Sorry, this is a little bit slow, people. One moment. This is blinding me. I think it actually says don't look directly into it. Ready? Next track. No idea. Well, you don't know that one. Yeah, I, you do. I, I do, but I... Um, right, ready? And again. Let me just turn the comments on to make sure people can actually hear this, please. Let me know if you can hear the songs, please. Please let me know. Quickly, quickly. Someone type and tell me if you can hear the songs. Anyone? Kaylee, you're here. Can you hear the songs? Holly, nice wave, but can you hear the songs? Anyone? I think they're saying yeah. Are they saying yeah? Oh, people putting thumbs up. Okay. We're going to go back to turning the comments off then. Okay, are we ready? Play that song one more time, please. Here. Yeah. Go. Stop. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you do know it. Yeah, it sounds like a Latin song to me. I don't know. There's a clue. There's a clue. There's a clue there. A Latin song. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it was indeed, is it, is, I think it's called that, isn't it? Havana Camilla Cabello. Camilla Cabello? Camilla Cabello? Is that his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's, that's it. If you've got, you need two points, but for the name and the song. Thank you. Next track, classic, go. Stop. That was your next song. I don't know if young people know this song, will they? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, I know the song, but I can't remember who sings it. Oh, you only get one point then, aren't you? Right, play that again, please. And one last time. 
One last time for the people out there. Last time. Thank you. Thank you. Amy, we come to you for the answer. I'm Mr. Brightside. I'm not sure what the clap was for, but yes. <laughs> Do you, you know who sang it? Do you know who sang it? No, can't think. Can't remember. Do you know? You know she did songs. It was in fact the Killers. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so it was the Killers, Mr. Brightside. Been in quarantine too long. <laughs> Next song. Let's go. I know if my best friend Tony's watching, she'll know that one for sure. Play it again, please. Yeah. This is a hard one. Play it again. Amy? Is it? That one? No. Oh, I ain't clear. No. no. One last time, please, Maestro. Any clue whatsoever? No. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> so for the people out there, that was... What's it called? What's it called? Oh, it's called that. Go Your Own Way, Fleetwood Mac. Two points. Can you play that, please? I have got a clue what Yeah, play is. the chorus, ready? Everyone will know it once you play it. Ready? Go. You can go your own way. You can go your own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows that one. You should play choruses. No, because then it's too easy. Right, you've got the next one lined up. This is the final song of the music round. The final song. I'd be intrigued to know how many people got 10 out of 10 on this one. It's quite difficult. Oh, what's happened to my screen? I have no idea. Right, carry on. Ready for the last one? How's your isolation been going anyway, Amy? What? <laughs> How's your isolation been going? There's, I'm sure there's youngsters watching. I haven't got to bad language. You can use bad language? No. No, that's all she's got to say about that. I'm really glad I brought you up with great content. Okay. <laughs> really glad I've got you on today. I'm going to get Dad on next week. Okay, ready for the final track of the music round? Go. And we'll play that again for you. Thank you. One last time. Go. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I'm just singing it. I forgot. <laughs> what's it? What's it called? Oh, there we go. Then, Amy, what's it called? It's yeah, Spice Girls. Need some love like I never had love before. Yeah, yeah, what's it called? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spice Girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
It is Tesco. What was the one with Asda when they when she used to tap her bum? What was that? What's that one? Asda Price. Asda Price. Is that it? So she said, as the price. I don't know. Right, hang on, we've got so we're 17 out of 20 overall here. Very good score. Very good. Anyone else's scores? Yeah, Melissa, you can send me a picture of yours. 9 out of 10 for both rounds, Sarah. Very good. Right, Logan, your music round wasn't that good. Uh, yeah, Libby, it was purple. Okay, uh, Meryl, Meryl, if it is your name, is Meryl. We've got another two rounds, so stay, stay. Monty Evans, Monty Evans. The sound number two on the UK tour of Six the Musical. Here he is. Right, are we ready? Tamsin, you're doing cracking. Right, I'm going to start again. Where are you going? Here, here's another effect for the pub. Blow it in. <laughs> she's vaping, she's vaping. Right, are we ready for the next round? Let's go. Question number one of the second round, are we ready? Are we ready? Which musical has the song Memory in it? That is, which musical has the song Memory in it? One more time. Which musical has the song Memory in it? And if you want a reenactment, Midnight. <laughs> no, just like You're giving it away. Right, here we go then. Oh, what musical is it then, Amy? It's Cats. Yep, yeah, it's Cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was Cats. Um, Meryl, the Watson Arms is the place to be on a Saturday. Right, are we ready? Question number two. Oh, this is a good one, this is a good one. Right, I'm not going to... What's that? Something keeps going ding, ding, ding on my screen. Oh, right. I can't say chocolate because they're not all chocolates, but in a box of Quality Street, how many different types of chocolate and sweet things do you get in it? So in a box of Quality Street, how many different types of chocolate or, what are they, toffees or something? So all the different colours, how many different types do you get in a box of Quality Street? Ooh, ooh, is this a good one? Is this a good one? You having a good think? Right. Do you get a fudge in it? But when I got uh, this answer to this question, did we actually think there is? Because that is, do you think? Hang on, here she is, she's going for him. I've got my answer. You've got your answer? Okay, oh, the user, that Berlin girl is very close. But again, not quite there. Amy, how many different varieties of chocolate and sweet things do you think are in a box of Quality Street? Is it eight? Eight? No. Um, it's 13. 13? 13 types. You're all gammy. <laughs> 13 different types. Next question. Who is the Greek god of war? Who is the Greek god of war? Why have you got the <laughs> Who is the Greek god of war? Amy, right, let's say give her one a second to get that one down. Should we have some like music on in the background? Wait, wait, this wait, pub's wait. dead. No, not, not your sirens or your school bells. It's BBC News remix. <laughs> <laughs> wait. BBC News remix. It's all I hear every day. BBC News. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Right, right. right. Yeah. No, that's done. Right. right, what do I just ask? Who the Greek god of war was? Amy? Zeus? <laughs> no, it's not Zeus, it was Ares. Spelled A R E S. He's a fish. What do you mean he's a fish? Ares is a fish. Ares? Oh, that's Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> what was Ares? Oh. Is he the ram? I don't think we were from the same bits out of our mind. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. But right, this is a random question. Are you ready? Amy? What is the total length of a cricket bat? It's in inches if that helps. I don't know why that would help. How long? No, come on. It's a pub quiz. How long is a cricket bat? And Leah, you're not done. Please don't say things like that. How long 
is a cricket bat coming at you now with a Leah, BBC News remix. Leah, do you remix. think you go like that. Come on then, you do that. How many times do you think a cricket bat is? Is it included in the handle? Including the handle is the whole length. 19, 20. Well, that's 20 there. I'm going to say, can I say? Hang on, right, we're coming to Amy live with the answer. I'm going to say 45 inches. 45 inches? That's, well, I don't know. That's not... <laughs> yeah, including the end. That's long. Right, it is that, Emily. Is it longer than a bottle of wine? That's the only thing I have to measure off. <laughs> yes, Emily. It was 38 inches. Oh, I wasn't that far off. <laughs> Lucy. 38 inches. People weren't too far off, actually. Who's this? Madeline, 36. Cracking guess. Right, next question. You've got your keyboard, right? On your way you type. What letter sits between the X and the V? What letter sits between the X and the V on the keyboard? Right, Amy, people are requesting the Countdown remix, please. Oh, on, the Countdown on the yeah. BBC? The Countdown. Countdown? They want the Countdown one. One minute, peeps. One, she said, one minute peeps. So one more time, that is what letter on your keyboard sits between the X and the V? Countdown. X and the V? X and the V. <laughs> I've heard sound effects, we don't need your sound effects. Right, done, that's the answer. Right, Amy, we're coming to you live for the answer. I think it's, say it again, what was it? X what and... letter sits between X and V on a keyboard? I think it's Y. You're wrong. It's the letter C. What? Well done to everybody who put the... Right, I'm going to turn the Who's comments off again. Yeah, the answer is C. They're typing on the keyboard. Not on the keyboard, are they? They're on the phone. Yeah, but right, I'm turning the saying... comments off. Turn the comments off for a minute. Okay, next question. You can't answer this because you know the answer. What? In bingo... What number, when they call out, is Kelly's eye? So what number in bingo, when the lady or the man calls over the mic, Kelly's eye, what number is it? Will you need music? Oh, and we're off. Amy knows the answer to this, because she loves bingo. So Amy, what number in bingo when they shout, Kelly's eye, what number is it? You want to open this? Go on. Number one. It is number one, because Kelly's eye. I don't know why that means Kelly's eye, but yeah. Okay, next question. Right, this is going to make me laugh. Are you ready? Why? What five-letter English word has four useless letters in it? I'm not going to explain it, just for the hilarity of this. So what five-letter English word has four of the letters that are useless in it? Yeah? What? I'm watching your face compute this. <laughs> Which five-letter English word has four letters in it that are useless? Have well, a you think. Don't ask me. No, I'm going to come to you, because this is what I'm doing it for. One final time, which five letter English word has four useless letters in it? Cabin. What? <laughs> think about it. I'm thinking. Yeah, so what English word has got five letters in it but four of them you don't need? Well, you need them all to make the word. <laughs> no, think about it. Five, six, seven, eight, and cut. Right, Amy. Have a bash. Honestly, I... I oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was going to say loo. So no, because you need the L and the O. Don't you? If you say loo, you need the L and the O. What about L? What word in everyday life, when do you say, oh yeah, L? What about eel? No. I have a clue, what are you asking me for? <laughs> they thought they were thick earlier. <laughs> Did you guess it as well, <laughs> The answer is the word 
queue. Because the letter, oh my mic's gone. Watson Arms is breaking. Because Q, the letter Q, and it's the word Q. You don't need the other four letters in. You don't need that. Spell Q, because you ain't spelling it the Q-U-E-U-E. way I'm... Q-U-E-U-E, how are you spelling it? Is that spell Q? <laughs> how do you spell it? A Q? Yeah. Q-U-E? No. That's K. It's no. In Spanish, you're French, you know. I'm waiting in the Q, I'm waiting in the Q-U-E. <laughs> Nah, made that up. Let's move on, shall we? Made it up. Right, here's one if there's any football people out there. I don't think there will be, but here we go. What year did Arsene Wenger become the manager of Arsenal? That was what year did Arsene Wenger become the manager of Arsenal? Don't say anything, Amy. Arsene Wenger. What year did Arsene Wenger become the manager of Arsenal? No idea, so don't ask me. Countdown, let's go. You bored? What do you want? Ah, I thought it was a little loaded. Hey, Scott's got bored of us. Who's gone? 57, 8, break. Thank you. Uh, Amy, I'm coming to you. For what year did Arsene Wenger become the manager of Arsenal? 2000. And who's shaking your head for? <laughs> 1990s. Yeah. 1997. Ooh, one year off, 1996. Was it? That was close, oh, though. If anybody got that without cheating, I'll be very impressed. Right, we're nearly at the end of the questions quiz. Why well, haven't we, have we got that? There's two more questions left, and we've got to finish the lyrics, and then that's it. That's everyone's entertainment for the night. If this has even been the slightest bit entertaining. Right, ready? What do female ants lose after mating with another ant? <gasps> what do fe... Not their virginity, Amy. <laughs> oh, they lose the ants. <laughs> no. What do female ants lose after mating? Amy? Play that song. Hang on. Oh. I've got... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Bear with us. So one more time. What do female ants lose when they... When after they've had Rumpy Pumpy? related question, I'm sorry. What was the name of Henry VIII's firstborn? What was the name of Henry VIII's firstborn? I'll give you a clue. It's not who you think it is. Amy, play the song. 
Ada. Five, six, seven, eight. Break. Right. Okay, and then so the question was, name of Henry VIII's firstborn. It was, Amy, who do you think it was? Henry Junior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. I can't. You got the first bit right, it was Henry, but it was Henry Fitzroy. And he had her, he was having it off with one of the ladies in waiting, Elizabeth. Not his wife, Catherine of Aragon. It is dirty. That is the end of the questions. I'm turning the comments on for two seconds, and then we're going to do get to our final round. Okay, let's see what's going on. George, I turned them off. I've got them back on again. Right there. Um, hello, Cooper the Spaniel hair. Hello. Right, we're going to our final round of the evening. Carl, the red man. Which is a. Uh, which is, uh, hold on, I'm just sat here vibing. Mary, you enjoy yourself. I will be saving this, don't worry. What do you say, you want to go to bed? Oh, I'm knackered. Oh, no, hold on, I've only got one round left. I did terribly in that round, do not worry, she didn't do too great either. Uh, okay, hang on, young ants have wings, no adult ants have wings. Oh. Say that again, say that again. Young, young ants have wings. I don't oh, so they're babies, babies flying around, babies. I don't know. I'm confused. Both genders, Madeline says. As someone said, since when did ants have wings? I'm confused now. There's no ants around them. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the ants. Don't worry about the ants. So, Libby's put, I thought ants lost their eyes. <laughs> 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 right. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the comments off. Liv, this does count as your homework because I'm testing you on general knowledge. Right, I'm turning the comments off for the final section of the quiz. And the final section is... It's not that. Oh, I wanted the comments. Yeah, no. Right, the final round is finish the lyric. I need to know if I even know some of these. Are we ready? So you've got to finish the lyric. You ready? First song. One for the money, two for the show. Finish that lyric. I'm coming to you, so you best get thinking. And again. I'm too tired. No, you've got to think. You can't come in and be half arsed for people. Yeah, you, you've got to finish the game. It's only five questions, ready? Don't know the answer. Well, you've got to think about it. One for the money, two for the show. Three for the dollar, a dog <laughs> Oh, cool, cool, cool. What actually is it? One for the money, two for the show, three for the... You can't ask questions school. enough. Can you get the lyrics, please? Why have you not wrote the answers down? Because I got bored by doing the end of it. Right, one more time, I just get... I need the lyrics. Look at my Snapchat, we need the lyrics. One more time, the song is... One for the money, two for the show. Three for the dollar, and go for the show. No, that is not the answer. What is it? One for the money. Well, you've got that wrong. What is it? What is it? Well, it's one for the money, two for the show. Free to get ready now. Go, cat, go. <laughs> go, cat, go. Go, cat, go. Can you get these lyrics up next? Because I have no idea. That one. The Ariana one. So I'm oh. giving you a clue there. It's the Ariana one next. Right, you've got the lyrics. The song is... I said, I'm horrendous! I wasn't even the tune! Wait. Right now, I'm in a state oh, of mind. God. That's it. Right now, I'm in a state of mind. Is that what it is? Is it right now, I'm in a state of mind? Who's this? Right now, I'm in a state of shock. Oh, right now, no, I'm in a state of shock. What? Yeah, Ariana Grande. Where is it? Where is it? Right now, I'm in a state of mind. Finish the ready, Amy. I don't know, I ain't got a clue. She's Finish the ready. No, she don't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> right I'm now, I'm in a state of mind. Now you want me to make the rest of <laughs> <laughs> What do 
What do you think it is? Right now I'm in state of mind. Yeah. I'm in a pub quiz. <laughs> losing the time. <laughs> now, the actual answer is, uh, uh, what is it? I want to be in like all the time. I want to what? I want to be in like all the time. Be in where? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got three left. Ready? Next song. Oh, I forgot what song it is. Oh, it's like you're always stuck in second gear. You can't answer it yet. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. Don't sing the rest of it, you can give it away. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. Amy? It's like you're always stuck in second gear When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year But I'll be uh, there for you When the rain starts to pour The rain, the rain, <laughs> the rain starts to pour I'll be there for you Like you've been there before I'll be there for you Cause you're there for me too Don't stop. You should have stopped. <laughs> that was, what was the line after? <laughs> right. When it has a... Even if I knew my place. Is it? Even if it leads nowhere, or would it be a waste? Even if I knew my place. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. That's the right answer. Finally. Are you ready for this song? I think you did that too quick. I think people are still singing. Oh, that sorry. Way. Sorry. It's because I knew you weren't getting it, so I just have to move on. This is the final question of the evening and of the pub quiz at the Watson Arms. Are you ready? 7 a.m., the usual morning lineup. Can you please get the lyrics? 7 a.m., the usual morning lineup. And the tune goes, Amy. 7 a.m., the usual morning lineup. Was it, um, it's, uh, Radio yeah. 1. Eh? What? Who's Radio who? 1? Who's who? Tangled, isn't it? No, oh, they don't know the, the thing though. 7 a.m. usual morning light. Oh, it's actually from a thing. Oh, I thought it was like a radio uh, beat. What? <laughs> wait, 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 what? They don't need to hear that. Again. What did you say? I thought it was a radio thing. A radio what? 7 a.m. morning light. <laughs> Isolation fear. Right. So with it right, do you not know? You thought it was Tangled. Yeah, Tangled. So it's seven AM the usual morning lineup. Start on the chores and sweep till the floor's all clean. Amy's yawn signifies that as the end of the pub quiz at the Watson Arms. I'm gonna turn the comments on for a few minutes just to see what people got. Wait, I'm gonna do a song for more while you No one wants a song. What are you doing? Final countdown! This is that when a really drunk person gets on the karaoke at the pub. Go on. I'm too tired. <laughs> it's 
So that is the end of the quiz. Right, West uh, Amelie's team got four out of five. Uh, where are they? Wait there. Hang on. This one is class. What is it, Amy? You got one, Libby. Kaylee smashed the lyrics round. How's everyone got on? Everyone, okay. no, uh, the, this one people didn't do too well. Oh, no, Leah got four out of five. 11 out of 35, 22 out of 35. Who got 22? Uh, who got 22? Erin got 22. Well done, Erin. Well done, Erin, from Amy. Uh, we've got 27 out of 35. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, sorry. It's unprofessional, I can't help it. 32 out of 35. Katie Hill from her and Tom got 24 out of 35. Well done. Lucy, 5 out of 35. Everyone listen to this song. This is a great song to listen to at this moment in time. You're desperate to get out your ass. Right, anyway, so that is the end of this evening's quiz. Thank you very much for everyone that tuned in. Um, honestly, I think I've gone blind. This is the setup I've got going on here. I can't see. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for everyone coming to the Watson Arms this evening. I'll be back again next weekend. And tune in again on Monday for Harriet's Riddle of the Day. Hey. I love you all. Good night. How do I end it? This is awkward. How do you save it? How do you save it? I, want to I don't know what I'm saving. But Kaylee, I am gonna. Is this in? Is this the main man? Oh, it's Mandy. It's the. Mo Where, do you want to come on next week? Do you want to come Watson Arms next week? Okay. Do you want to come and be in the Watson Arms next week? Uh, okay. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Um, oh, someone's asked for a six themed quiz. I might do a quick little six themed one tomorrow. But we have, we've got a netball tournament going on out in the front garden tomorrow. So maybe not tomorrow, but I will do a six themed one. And I'll let you all know when it is. Goodbye to everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. If, what do I do? I save, end it and then save it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well done to everyone. From the Watson Arms. Have a wonderful evening and good night.